internet, Mogwai here and I got another Legends of Runeterra video for you guys today and today we're going to showcase a rather peculiar champion combination within the Noxus region and that is none other than Swain and your boy Vladimir. Vladimir got buffed in the most recent balance patch and now in his leveled up form uh, in addition to the regeneration keyword and his uh, original ability he also drains instead of just dealing damage alone which means that you will heal your nexus for the amount of damage dealt now this on paper it seemed like it was going to be ultimately more impactful than it ended up being uh, it is definitely a big upgrade for Vladimir, don't get me wrong. And I think Vladimir is a solid champion. He's been... He's not nearly as bad as people have made him out to be. It's just that the archetype in which he belongs hasn't really been up to par with other, you know, competitive strategies in the game, right? But Vladimir now is definitely better than he was before. That much is sure. The question is, how much better is he? How relevant is the drain effect? Because a lot of the times you're using Vladimir as a finisher. The answer is, through my experience, not as relevant as you would like it to be. I, I'm going to go with that. It's still good. But there were a lot of matches in which it, drew, it didn't really come into play. Like, I, I wanted Vladimir's finishing power. Not so more, or not so much English. Uh, relied on the ability to heal myself off of him, right? Regardless, it's an upgrade, and uh, Vladimir is definitely pretty damn useful. Like, people think he, he's not really viable in any sort of way, and like I said, I, I, I think he's pretty underrated in that regard. And I got a pretty cool deck for you guys today with him, as we're pairing him alongside Swain. The two Noxian Lords, even though one is inherently a leader of the Tri... What's it called? The Trifarix or the Trifecta? Something like that. Basically, I know Swain alongside LeBlanc and uh, Darius are the three who like rule over Noxious. And I also know that Vladimir is not really a big advocate of this leadership. Like he's kind of like the opposition in a way. They don't get along anyways, which is, you know... Uh, just goes to show that I am looking into the lore, in case you're wondering. <laughs> Not bad for somebody who hasn't played League of Legends, right? So, uh, I think it's pretty fun combining these two, uh, characters together in what is a self-harm archetype with a bit of a splash of Demacia, of all things. Because normally, when you think about Vladimir, you think about Nox's Froyord variants. We've seen Vladimir with, uh, Sejuani being played recently. And there's also the potential of using Vladimir with Braum, which I personally really like, since Braum does benefit a lot from self-harm, and Froyard has quite a few cards that benefit from self-harm as well. But the reason why we're running Demacia instead, in a, a very, by the way, like, Demacia and Noxus is not really a region combination that you see commonly at all, it's actually one of the least popular combinations out there, but I figured it would be really good in this case because Demacia provides us with two things. Number one, single combat, one of the best cards in the game, period. So combat is one of the prime sources of disruption, very, very cheap, very effective, and in the right deck can be a just an excellent source of removal. And on top of that, we are incorporating Tough. We're adding a full set of Chain Vest and a one-off of Ranger's Resolve, kind of like our fourth Chain Vest in a way, alongside Bright Steel Protector to enable single combat even better. As in case you guys don't know, if we apply a barrier onto one of the Crimson units, maybe the Disciple or the Curator, uh, when they survive damage effect will still be applied even if the barrier sponges the damage completely. And the same is applied to Tough as well. So if we apply Chain invest onto Crimson Disciple, for example, we can start pinging on her with the Militianist and Transfusion, and we won't really be damaging her, but we will be getting two damage off of the opponent every single time. That's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to bake, bake, sorry, we're trying to break the symmetry uh, for the self-harm archetype and actually not take any damage, so we don't have to heal that up. So instead of healing, like, we do with Froyord by increasing the health stat with uh, spells and such, we are giving our units tough and we're really capitalizing on this. Giving, it's important to note that by giving our units tough, we are slowing down Swain's level up potentially. And this is where the question uh, a lot of you may have right now in your head, you know, rises, right? Like why combine Swain with Vladimir? You could go with something else like Garen. There are other options, right? The reason why I go with Swain is despite the fact that there is a little bit of anti-synergy with the uh, tough being incorporated and the barrier as well as we prevent damage dealt to our own units, uh, that damage does not count towards Swain's level up. Single combat does. 
So if we strike with like if we apply a barrier onto Vladimir, for example, or onto the Crimson Awakener, and then we single combat onto something, that counts as five non-combat damage. I know it's kind of counterintuitive because it says non-combat damage, and we're playing a card called single combat, but single combat is in fact non-combat damage. Shocker, I know, <laughs> but it's actually how it works. So uh, with this, the reasoning for me incorporating Swain onto this deck is because it gives me an alternate win condition because Swain alongside Leviathan is a very powerful late game, especially against unit based decks. But on top of all this, they both, while they don't inherently synergize super well together, they do benefit from the same type of cards for the most part. And Vladimir can potentially contribute to Swain's level up as well. So they do kind of synergize a little bit, even though the synergy only goes one way, right? But by running cards like Crimson Awakener and playing Transfusion, Single Combat, Imperial Demolitionist, we, and of course Noxian Fervor, we have many different ways of uh, enabling Swain's level up. And once we do, like I said, Swain with Leviathan, you don't really need a super specialized deck for it. Like Swain plus Leviathan equals profit. And uh, it's a very, very powerful combo to go for and one of the reasons to play Swain to begin with. We're also playing the Legion Veteran alongside the Crimson Awakener to ensure at 4 mana we have a very beefy play. Both of these units are pretty high statted for 4 drops like Crimson Awakener goes beyond. Technically has a detrimental effect to make up for its ridiculous stat line. Like a 4 mana 5-5 five five is <laughs> a pretty big deal. And Legion Veteran has the premier vanilla stat line in 4 mana 4-5 four with a really neat ability that we can capitalize on with this deck through obvious reasons. We have uh, then a one-off of Relentless Pursuit, a one-off of Might, and uh, the one-off of the after, for me, after, after aforementioned or... Anyways, like the card that I mentioned prior. Sometimes I, I don't know how to... I forget how to say certain words. Uh, Razor Resolve, like I said prior, is like a fourth version of Chain Vest. But when it comes to Might and Relentless Pursuit, they're very high-impact cards that can be game-winning. But they're also cards that I don't, I don't want to be drawing multiple copies of. Which is why... Uh, I play uh, one of them each. In certain scenarios, Might onto Swain can be absolutely brutal if he's leveled up. And Relentless Pursuit with Vladimir can be absolutely devastating as well. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the deck list right there. Very, very fun deck to play. Not without its flaws, though. There are definitely some uh, awkward matchups, and it's not a tier 1 deck by any means. But it was a it was a very fun and unique way of playing Vladimir. Like, I've, I've always played Vladimir with Freljord again and again, and I wanted to mix it up a little bit. Uh, even though I will be trying out the Vladimir Sejuani archetype uh, in the future as well. And generally speaking, I think Vladimir is solid now. He's definitely not one of the best champions, but I don't think he's bad, like some people claim he is. And uh, the buff definitely is appreciated, even though it's not as impactful as some people may have hoped it would have been. Regardless, hope you guys enjoy the games that I got for you today. I got some, you know, quite diverse line of, of matchups here. You know, some good matchups, some bad matchups, and the usual. I'm gonna play some uh, good old Noxian Empire Bloody Conquest, and hopefully you guys enjoy the matches. So have a solid day. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for daily Legends of Runeterra content from your boy, the quarantine fake Brazilian card boy. And I will stop talking. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. I do upload a new deck every single day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, Swain better than Sejuani Vlad? It's just a, a different deck. It's a different take on the deck. Um, I believe by incorporating Demacia, uh, I have I have much better interaction. I'm gonna drop one Legion better. I'm gonna keep the other one. Nothing can stop us. Uh oh. I helped build this empire. 
Uh, definitely do. I mean, it's not as noticeable, honestly. Like, it's not as impactful. But it's definitely a nice up upgrade. I'm thinking here, like, ne next turn I would like to just drop the Crimson Disciple and, and that. I'll play Vladimir. You must be Lord Vladimir. And you must be Supper. Winter, take you! That's a big fella. I have the ability to go Crimson into Bryce Steel into single combat, potentially. I have to keep in mind that uh, that barriers, uh, sorry, uh, frost bites can be a thing. It can't be. Let me show you what I can do. And I, I have to be willing to take damage as well. Like he's 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 very far away from leveling up Sejuani. Like Sejuani level up is not an issue at all. Uh, it's just a matter of setting up a lethal here with. Um, Many tribes. One Freljord. I don't think he has much interaction here with us. At all. What what reasoning could I have for not going with this here? For four mana, what can he do? He can go for a strong attack, but I'll do this. Sure, waste my man is maketh. Kneel before me. Leaping into action. Yeah, he has to attack here. Real tough, aren't you? Routes closed. Yeah, maybe I should have just waited. Honestly. My shield is yours. Line up. YouTube video before going to bed. Oh shit. Oh, it's Garen versus Swain. The movie. Let's drop you, let's drop you. I mean double crimson disciple. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep double crimson disciple. What's 
up. Glory, courage, excuses for war. I served for decades, and you call on me now. I'll write my own story. Witness strength. Is this the death you imagined? Look what you did. My heart and sword for Demosic. It's nothing personal. I'll stop you! Let's get a good look at you. Folks, Lead our charge. Demacia, now and forever. Nice bones. My territory! By my hand will Noxus rise. Grand General! Dark in the sky! Such little lies. Ha 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 Darken the sky for Noxus. Darken the sky. I will break them. We have done what is needed. Like mulliganing with this deck is a little bit awkward because there's some pretty vital components. Like, it's hard to say no, but it's, it's also, like, it's... The one downside with this deck is that it's really important to find Crimson Disciple early on. Um, because it's, it's quite the difference if you don't. With Crimson Disciple, you have a good target. 
Well, at least here we have two of them. The Swain passive doesn't synergize with Vladimir. It's not that they synergize together, it's that uh, Vladimir helps level up Swain. And uh, they both they both benefit from similar cards. I'll try anyone. That's why I'm playing them together. It's kind of like the same reason that I had for combining Shen and, and Quinn. Me too, kiddo. Me too. Me too. I love a taste of the action. I don't think you would block there. That four damage is really nice. Definitely goes a long way. And now, now we put him in a position in which, you know, Vladimir's lethal, but also Swain is. Alright. Harden scales. How close is Lee? Lee Sin is getting pretty close though. It's important to know. Ooh, I like this. Got axes, need victims. I'll take on anyone. You better bleed. Routes closed. Axis, a total of five cards in hand, six mana. The dark beckons. For three mana, what can he do just to like counteract this? Twin Disciplines doesn't quite do it, but Twin Disciplines plus an axe can allow him to kill off my swain. Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. of the action. It's 
too late for you. He has to use the axe here. Uh. Alright, so Silex is some, somebody we've been playing a few times over the, the span of these uh, days, and he's uh, been playing this this version of just like aggro. I'm gonna drop, uh, I'm gonna keep Noxian Fervor and the Crimson Disciple, and I'm gonna drop Swain there. So this is just like a, basically a, a very unit heavy deck, it's just, it's just aggro. I think it's just the worst version of aggro, but it's still, it's still an aggro deck, it's still gonna be strong, it has a very powerful curve. So we're gonna try to match up with that. It's a pretty straightforward deck. There's not much to say about it. It just kind of like smorks you and or it tries to do that. It's pretty old school. Like this, this, this deck is very old school. Um, I'd like to My turn. attack first. Get my two damage there. Oh dear, what have you got to do now? The people are my strength! You're covered! From blood, glory! The pleasure to see you too, Maria. No one's the wiser. Noxian strength. So 
Oh, please. Will you be quiet? Fine. Fine. What have you got to be into now? Glory, courage, excuses for war. I have my orders. I love a taste of the action. Ready. You must get by these first! I wanted to go for that first because the, the Noxian Fervor is uh, is a much more easier like plate for me to go for. Like I, I can do that any time, but the transfusion damage I can only apply with a disciple. So I yeah, I, I like that line of play. I, I did tap myself out. Like I I couldn't do Noxian Fervor that turn, but unless he found a way to prevent lethal and kill me that turn with just two cards. Um, I, I would have the ability to just finish him off because I could knock him for more and then if you reacted with something I could just play the second one and uh, I would get lethal that way, right? Uh, I, th I think that was the right approach There's some games in which it happens really fast because you got to keep in mind that single combat uh, Also levels up Swain like single combat counts as as like non-combat damage ironically uh, I, li I like the uh, range of resolve. I'm gonna drop these two. I'm gonna keep no, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop I'm gonna drop everything, because I have a lot of four drops anyways. Yeah, it's better for me to hunt for for the three drop. As much as I do like uh, Legion Veteran in a matchup like this, I have six thick four drops, so I'm, I'm bound to draw into one of them. Ranger Resolve can be really, really neat. This is a very interesting matchup. Uh, just Ezreal decks in general, especially like non-Ionia variants. I, I, I want to see if my, my tough cards are enough to power through them. I can do this. I mean Got your back. Normally I would I would uh, preserve this but you know. <laughs> ah Boobka rookie. Uh how the mighty have fallen. What a fucking scrub. Get out of here. Get out of here! I have the name. I, I need, need the, the reputation. reputation. I'm gonna drop the. Because uh... this is an Ezreal deck, right? Like, I'm not sure what they can play here, but regardless of what it is, I do have Rangers Resolve. Like, maybe I should just go for the open attack, but I, I think I think this this is gonna be better. Yeah, look at that. Thermobeam. So we gotta go hit off on him. It sucks that we got this one. Like we we we, we got arguably the worst of the aristocrats. Like a, any other, uh, sorry, the crimsons. Any other crimson would have been significantly better here. The four mana five five would have been excellent. Because it's not even something he can thermal beam at this stage. The uh, Crimson Curator would have been pretty decent, you know, giving me another blocker in case he's able to take one of these uh, one of these units down. I'm gonna have to play this Crimson Aristocrat here. Be grateful I even noticed you. Don't mind me. I hope this works. 
Boom Kuruki got his way, guys. I repeat, Boom Kuruki got his way. But we're playing uh, Swain next turn. I, I need a block. I need a, a unit on the board because I need to be able to transfusion. By my hand, Noxus rise. I'm gonna play Swain because uh, it depends him playing something with three attack. Butcher. Pledge or perish. Tread carefully. They walked around. Time for a true display of skill. I helped build this empire. We know the price and prizes of conquest. How can he stop this? He needs like a get excited plus a mystic shot. Like he needs a lot. And this Noxian Fervor will automatically pump up my Swain to six for the level up. So halfway there. That's fine. Firing. No way. Welcome to the tipsy hour. Hello, my, my darlings. Shut up and take my prime. <laughs> Party boy, thank you, buddy. That's two months, man. I'm not gonna attack there. I'm gonna make him like. Uh, burn all that mana instead. I don't. I don't have a clear attack anyways. Uh, it forces me to resort to the transfusion. Let's see all of it. Prepare the cargo. There is no excess when victory is at stake. One shot, all skill. Nailed it. Charge. Better than Dark in the sky. Played your monkey idle deck the whole day. Had a streak as good as you are S. Uh and, and how how good would that be? <laughs> I, I did alright with it. Uh I really like the deck. Happy you enjoyed it, man. Alright, I'm gonna do this to level up swing. We have the Relentless Pursuit as well. This'll take the chill off. We are at war. We are at war. Out of their league. <laughs> bam, bam. The thing is, whatever unit he uses to not block with, I I will stun with uh, with Swain. So this relentless pursuit is gonna be absolutely devastating here. I've carved meat bigger than you. Well, I didn't do anything. One suffers another. Kneel before me! Bleed for Noxus. 
We stunned the Ezreal. I'm back next. And now... And now we simply... Oh, my Wamu. Shit, that oh! <laughs> Daddy! Thanks for all the decks, you beautiful Spanish card boy. Take my money <laughs> and my love. Love the new emote. Cyberpunk Cassidy with two months. History will remember us. Thank you so much for the kind words. And thank you so much for the two months. No es super impactante, pero me, me gusta bastante. O sea, lo quiero probar. How, how about we build... Do you guys want me to build some Hecarim soon? I mean, I, I want to get some more games with this deck. Because I, I think this deck is worthy of a video. But, uh... We're going to build some, some Hecarim Ephemerals after this. Yay or nay? I'm going to keep the Imperial Demolitionist. With the chain vest, like I just need to find the crimson disciple or the uh, is dark, eh? either the crimson disciple or the or the curator would be really nice. I guess I have to be you. Remember the objectives. Is it worth me going for the chain vest here? Uh, Getting rid of that is really neat. Come, the journey ahead is long. If they don't break, they'll burn. For the glory of Noxus. Oh yes, she does all this. I helped build this empire. Now we have an, uh, a nice 4-drop that can take on the Abomination, which is really neat. And next turn we can drop the Crimson Awakener. Uh, and uh, pump up our units a little bit. Get her to be a 3... We'll turn her into a 3-2. We'll, we'll pump your attack as well. Still have some fights left in me. I'm gonna drop swing. Lead us to victory, Grand General. Silence. Death comes. Routes closed. Your path ends here.
for some action, Ed? Blood exists to be pumped, no? You better bleed. Such little life. Empire above all! Patience is the tactician's greatest tool. Come, Clara, we have much to teach you. I can't wait. You're covered. <laughs> it makes it I didn't have the spirit. <laughs> Witness strength. My turn. Go by me! Yikes. This is not the end. I, I really I really needed him to not top deck another the Hundur. That was it. Like I I was pretty I was pretty prepared for everything else. But another another day who endure was uh too much. It was tight. That's one of the things about this deck. Sometimes it's a little bit too rigid. I'm gonna do a full mulligan here. In hopes of finding. Yeah, this is much better. Sharpen the blades, cure the kill. You're covered! Me. Took the bait. I have the name. I need the reputation. Winter, take you. My shield is yours. Think about it. I will unite the frail yard. My steel is yours. Fine. If it's a fight they want.
show you what I can do. Edvin, come here, handsome. Hello, dear. What have you got us into now? All right, all right, all right. I love a man with style. Heard it all before. Mogwai's face during the end of that last game. Please don't kill me. 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 Thumb Bible thumb. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Pain is nothing. Remember the objectives. You for the many. Swiftly now. The time is right. Strike now. Avarosa, guide me. Does he have brittle steel too? I want to die to Noxian Fervor. Do we think he plays Noxian Fervor? We definitely do, right? If I if I drop you here and I drop you next turn, and I have uh, three units, I miss out on lethal by one, which is a problem. So I'm just gonna let this happen. Wash it. The bloodier the better. For who's off? I mean, no the question is, does he have any direct damage in his deck? I mean, he's playing Sejuani. Does he have any direct damage? That's not it. No. Nope, you're dead. This is our homeland. Got him. Launch, baby. Whoo. There we go. <laughs> oh boy. Raise the Noctora. Remember this day. I will remember. I will forever remember. <laughs> 